Hi, I'm Joselina Lees and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most fashionable fashion dolls around. Some actual dolls that have modeling careers. Poppy Parkers, some New Face, and a Meteor. So let's get into it. Actually sounds like one of those Rainmaker things. It's a New Face. Let me see if I can get this sleeve off. I like how shiny everything is. Genuine Integrity Toys. This is Alejandra Luna, and she is a W Club upgrade doll for 2023. She is called Billion Dollar Beauty. Kind of a play on her first ever doll, Billion Dollar Batty. When I first saw all of the W Club upgrade dolls this year, I knew that I had to have this one. She is so gorgeous. I love her green eyes and her red hair. So stunning. New Face seems to be top for me, like one of my top lines. I just loved her backstory so much. I just had to have her in my collection. She's truly gonna pop. Like I was saying earlier, I really like Alejandra as the first trans model at New Face and she's a Latin billionaire heiress. Honestly, I was thinking about going back and getting her predecessor, Billion Dollar Beauty, but I would much rather invest in other characters at this time. This curated doll is my first event doll ever. I didn't even know about the event. I did get to watch it on Instagram, like, you know, everything that was going on, the doll reveal and everything, so that was fun. And I completely fell in love with this cutie, so let's take a look at him. This is Mixed Media, Thiago Valente. He is gorgeous. This is Thiago's second edition. He's a newer character. The uh, Monsieur doll is a cutie as well, but I like my guys with hair, so he was more of my taste, and he's the newest edition, so I figured, why not get this one? This outfit just eats so good. Thiago seems to be very androgynous, which I'm very attracted to. His jacket reminds me of something Harry Styles would wear along with the necklace. While the color of the shirt and pants remind me of the Stella McCartney suit that Timothee Chalamet wore to the Paris premiere of the movie Little Women. I was so happy to get my hands on this doll. He was a pretty fair price uh, considering I didn't go to the event, so I'm really happy about that. He's brand new in box, obviously. I love this green they have going on since the whole theme was like an art gallery. This was really fun and I'm definitely gonna keep the box. Here comes a Poppy Parker, but which one is it? It's Sergio. So there's not a lot of guys in the integrity toy world that really are handsome to me. Thiago, of course, is gorgeous, but he's a new character, so I don't know what's going on in the factory, but they're getting it together. Now this guy. He is just giving luxury, like I am a rich man. Like, do you see this watch? Where's his watch? Like he came with so many accessories. Look at these loafers, sunglasses. And then he has like, So I got the So Curious Poppy Parker because without knowing it, I apparently am an Alice in Wonderland collector. Go figure. <laughs> and I really was going back and forth if I really wanted to get her because I'm not a huge fan of her overall look, but it just didn't feel right to want to juice up my Integrity Toys collection and have the opportunity to get her and not have her. I felt like I was going to regret it, so here she is. Now this one was actually a surprise for my mom, My Hair Fair Zuri Akoti. Her packaging is so luxe, like I can't stand it, how good it is. I heard they're now changing up the packaging to make shipping less or keep shipping down. She is a 2022 doll and of course Zuri has been brought back again. She was brought back in the curated collection available through the curated event. I really did want this Zuri because she has wigs. I love a good wig. Who am I to not have the wig doll? It would be a crime. My mom got her for an amazing price. I would love to potentially get the rest of her wigs. You know, if I don't, I don't. She does have the amazing shaved like hairstyle. 
That's really cute and she does come with the wig. I'm just excited to see how everything's gonna look when I get it displayed. All right guys, last but not least, I got these three items as a bundle. So this is Night Out Erin Solston and her boutique details. You can buy the doll by itself as she's a basic doll. She's still available on integritytoys.com or you can also buy her extra accessories pack to make her more deluxe. This is Island Time Poppy Parker. I'm actually not a big fan of her overall look, but the doll is very pretty and I think she would compliment Sergio very well, especially since I don't think I'm going to get any other Palm Spring dolls. I know they're basic, but I'm so happy to have them and they will forever have a special place in my heart since these are both my first Poppy Parker and New Face dolls. Well, it looks like it's curtain time. It was really fun showing you everything I got. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more doll content and I'll see you next time.